Hi and welcome to a Chronicle Chamber book review. I'm Ankit and today I'll be reviewing Regal Comics from India's The Phantom issue number 13, 14 and 15. Uh, as all of you, those who have been following the channel will remember, uh, Regal Comics last published the Lee Fogg birthday special in April. Uh, and ever since then India was caught up again with the second wave of COVID which has been really really bad for us and especially uh, for Kerala the state from which Regal is based off they have been they are still now uh, in fact one of the worst affected states and so lockdowns and everything have delayed book releases and a lot of stuff so uh, I'm quite happy and glad that finally at least we have these books out and also Regal to make up for that lost time and everything have uh, decided to release three books in one go so yeah uh, 1st of August onwards these books are now available the pre-order started uh, sometime around the middle uh, in the end of July about the 20th or 21st so yeah let's get into them first we start off with issue number 13 now issue number 13 uh, has a cover art by Mr. Vincent Moses Raja who is quite a regular by now and it comes with a mini poster which is uh, the, basically the cover art and one thing I have noticed from Regal's all their past stuff is that their mini posters colors are much more saturated from their covers now some people might like it but personally I like uh, it to be an exact representation because somewhere if you see the subtlety of the different purples over here is kind of lost when it becomes uh, very saturated but anyway uh, onward to the book now the story in here uh, or the stories in here is uh, one of my favorites personal favorites from uh, Tony DePaul it's the temple of the gods uh, those who have already read the stories from the, the dailies they would remember that you know that even phantom man has a continuation of these of uh, temple of the gods I think it uh, goes up till part 5 or 6 or something like that but yeah anyway uh, coming back to the main book now there is a misprint that I realized this uh, over here in the credits they gave uh, the story they credited to Mr. Tony DePaul and George Olison which is clearly wrong the artist should be George Olison and Keith Williams uh, the inker and Paul Ryan now uh, another th thing I love about the story is the fact that this is where Mr. Paul Ryan starts full time working on the strip he is by far my favorite after Sai Barry, his uh, Phantom is my favorite and like Mr. Tony DePaul and Paul Ryan's combination for me was probably one of the best since the early 60s Sai Barry, uh, Lee Falk combination. Anyway, and uh, as we have, we have a picture which is drawn by Mr. Vincent Moses Raja for uh, issue 2 of the thing as the title head and uh, the story is, so it's about a 56 page book and it's all in color the it's basically the daily story and one of the best things is like you know to see these stories in this really nice glossy paper so you know even though i would say the sundays were colored much more elaborately for the phantom the daily's color really shines and it's consistent and just like mr paul ryan's art towards the end of the book I, I really really like how you know uh, Mr. Ollison's retirement and Paul Ryan's entry like you can you can actually see how the art became so much more consistent like when you see like you know the face of the phantom and everything here and how Mr. Paul Ryan's phantom is in every panel you you know there is like I've always been Mr. Paul a uh, fan of Mr. Paul Ryan's work from his time in Marvel and this is a really really great story too you know and being a two-parter having it all in one book this is really good i know that this story has been published before in euro kids in one of the books but uh, the, those are not even close to the kind of stock paper quality this has like paper quality goes a long way to really you know show off what uh, it can do like especially the gradients and the details in every scene that you can see here so yeah, really good stuff. Anyway, on to issue 14. 
now issue 14 cover has been done by me incidentally this is my fourth cover actually in terms of chronology but they chose it for issue 14 and uh, I based this off the story the Wuduro secret and I wanted to have something like a tribal psychedelic thing happening you know so anyway other than it the freebie that comes with it is a sticker based off my art from the cover which I modified a little bit for the lighting and everything so that you get a straight thing anyway now the stories here are Mr. Clay Sremiyarthi and Mr. if I'm not mistaken Mr. Tony DePaul yeah Mr. Tony DePaul's story and the art is by Mr. Graham Nolan and we are these stories have been printed before in moonstone and if you look here carefully you will see you know what much better paper stock can do and that's what it is it's so much better paper stock and it allows for you know a lot of really good let me show you a comparison of it here. Look at the two pictures here. Because of the gloss paper, the, the highlights are a lot more prominent here. It's matte here, so it's a little uh, blunt, but like it's about preference. But as you can see, for these are very expensive books, the quality of print fidelity is brilliant here. So, yeah, in terms of sheer quality again that is the that has been regal's biggest strongest point so far you know now in this book basically Wuduro's secret and uh, and the viking fortress mystery i obviously like Wuduro's secret or more vikings fortress mystery for me was a very strange story i mean those who will read it you will understand it's 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 really strange like one of the things but like graham nolan's art is what really shines here like especially i love the look of the phantom in panels like this he's there's a lot of dynamics like dynamic things happening just just look at here it just reminds me of my favorite times like you know when he was doing a detective comics in batman in dc in back in the uh, late 80s early 90s so the art really stands out for me here and and really the print fidelity so yeah that's about number 14 now number 15 now, number 15 is again the artwork has been done by uh, me now one thing i have to uh, point out is i was uh, this one in terms of chronology is my third cover for them so i did this before i finished this and uh, with every artwork i try to do something different like here i did not do any inking i tried to do all the highlights and the shadows from with colors over here i did a mix of uh, colors and inks and everything else like the traditional thing and i wanted to try stuff with illumination but uh, coming to this one uh, the funny thing is i was uh, i had to like do this like in a really uh, quick time at that point of time regal was still like locked down and all that you know didn't start so this was planned to be released again just after 12 and all so uh, but like you know i had to finish this up real quickly because uh, they they had kind of figured out a cover art that they wanted for this issue but they kind of rejected it and so it was like an emergency thing i had to do so yeah so i based this off the ghost wall story like the wall and the phantom's image uh, it didn't really come up uh, as well as i would have liked like an illusion thing because being a dark uh, background already uh, i realized from printing there would be some practical difficulties to like you know really create that gradient and everything on so yeah anyway so the stories over here are the ghost wall by mr tony de paul and the artist is uh, oh yeah firstly uh, the, it comes with a card as the freebie which is again uh, based off the phantom from my cover which is again uh, here so yeah and the artist is george Ollison and keith williams and the next story is a paul ryan tony de paul story which is uh, this is my uh, phantom picture from issue 9 
from Paul Ryan and Bruno De Paul's The Crime Apprentice. So, what I like about this story is The Crime Apprentice is where you know Tony De Paul and Paul Ryan are really shining because uh, it's like. you it, it this is like a very classic phantom kind of a story the narrative is you know in a way like really going through certain things and all and i really like the whole structure of the story like you know it starts off in a manner and then it ends in a complete and, and and it really shows one of the greatest things i like about the phantom like you know his nobility his uh, his way to you know really think things out and not always use his fists all the time so He's, he the upholding justice is not just by you know by violence and also that this this is a very classic uh, phantom you know story in my opinion as for the ghost wall uh, this i think was actually adapted from a phantom story which had art by uh, i i can't remember i think maybe hans lindel or uh, Jimmy Valve or John Boyks I have no I, I can't remember but this is definitely a phantom in story which it was based on so this is during that part when uh, you know after miss uh, mr fox death kfs was still trying to you know figure out uh, the right you know combination and just needed stories quickly to you know come up and fill that time before original stories could be written so i think this is an adaptation from one of the phantom in stories by mr tony de paul so yeah that's about it for issue 13 so you can uh, order these books at regal and they are all available they all come at 200 rupees each and if you pre order them together all of them i think you get free or registered post shipping or uh, and i'm pretty sure also very soon you know uh, fru too will have them for uh, international customers so yeah Thank you for watching. Happy phantoming.